I love Circuit Superstars, so whenever there's an update to the game, it gives me an opportunity to just gush about this game on a new video. Uh, and those of you that signed up to a league which wasn't able to take place earlier this year whilst I look after my parents and their health problems, that league will be back, don't panic. With this new summer update, we get a new car, a new track and some extra features alongside some little tiny quality of life improvements such as extra music uh, and sound effects when you move up and down positions and things like that, which I thought were just nice little add-ons and really sells this kind of retro arcade vibe that it's going for, even though it is more Simcade than anything uh, that I've really played recently outside of probably the F1 games. The new car is a tubular sprint car and it is very understeery. It is a heavy beast to try and fling around. And what I really like about this is that you can really feel that the downforce or center of gravity is higher on this car compared to any of the other cars in the game. So it likes to swap ends quite quickly compared to other cars. It's quite difficult to pack race, I found. Um, but some of that uh, kind of need for precision is negated by the fact that the new track that's been added is called the Poke Bowl. And this Poke Bowl is off the coast of Hawaii or um, copper wood, if you read the law. <laughs> and this is a dirt track short oval. There's no pits. So if you're going to start damaging your car or anything like that or running out of fuel, you can't pit and repair anything. So you just have to kind of ignore all of that and just go for a very short track dirt overall vibe but the two go really well and hand in hand because it feels like you're hanging on for dear life as you're going around the edge of that poke bowl the other track that has been added on is a really nice um starter track and works really well in the slower cars uh i think and that's called sunnyside park it's a really good introduction that alongside with copperwood um club circuit I think are really good starter tracks for anyone that wants to try and get up and running and understand how Circuit Superstars is handling works. The beauty of Sunnyside Park though is that its middle two corners is an elongated chicane that allows you to do some gratuitous curb hopping but those markers are there to catch you out if you hop just slightly over the limit and you'll get a one and a half second penalty quite happily. On some of the faster cars as well, it gets rough and ready through that. A bit like trying to um, bounce over maybe a Scarry, maybe? We're probably putting it at a bit of a stretch. But um, yeah, you can lose your car quite easily trying to bounce through all of that. So yes, it's a great starter track. What's really good with this is if you've got people, as you can see in this gameplay, that you're able to race cleanly side by side on. You can run side by side, lap after lap around Sunnyside Park really well. Uh, and this track does lend itself well to tight pack racing. An awful lot of drama. The other things that have been added onto the game is this new player card feature, which features throughout a grid camera view at the start of any online race, which I really appreciate. That allows you to see how far they've got in the newly structured career mode or Grand Prix mode, uh, which does away with all of your previous kind of uh, investment for a more structured unlocking and ranking up of a Grand Prix mode. But you can also see how much they've raced online and how much they've raced on time trials as well. And this is like a leveling up XP system for a level system, rather than showing that you are like entirely ranked, if that makes sense. But the time trial mode is a little bit more ranky based, if that makes sense. So yeah, interesting to see how that kind of develops over time. What it doesn't do, even though it's got like this online ranked progression system, is that there's no ranking mode for saying you are the fastest or something like that. Similar to what you'd get in maybe iRacing or Race Room. And I don't think necessarily Circuit Superstars lends itself well to that style of lobby ranking. I think the community is strong enough and um, busy enough that it organises itself really well like that. So yeah, hats off to the community. I really do enjoy being part of it. The other thing that is worthwhile uh, saying as well is that you can now 
see names above the cars, but also there's some slight tweaking to the way how slipstreaming works in this game. So what they've done is they've reduced down the slipstream strength, but also um, reduced like the maximum distance from when you can start getting slipstream from, so that it feels like it's an earned, I've tucked in really closely behind someone and then got that maximum payoff, which I really appreciated. I also feel like they've accentuated the slipstream uh, graphics so that you know where the slipstream is and whether you're in it, which is also a great little quality of life improvement, which I really appreciated too. The other final thing, which has taken me a little bit to get used to, is that the camera pans out slightly wider when you get to the top speed of a car. And because I've become so used to seeing something at a very specific angle and um, like screen radius, it makes the tracks feel narrower, which increases the danger and made me slightly more jittery when I was racing online with other people. It's a really weird side effect. But I do approve of the fact that having a wider camera lens at top speed allows you to see more of what's coming up down the track. So I think it's a good thing. It just takes a while to get used to. So yeah, if you've not seen me talk about Circuit Superstars before, I've got plenty of videos on this channel with it, including a fully commentated league night that will be coming up. If you want to get involved in my Circuit Superstars leagues and one-off events, join the Discord, and once I'm back to being able to run these again later on in 2022, after my parents have recovered from their various cancer ups and so on and so forth, we will be racing and it will be live and we'll be making a big fanfare of it. And there's cash prizes normally at the end too. So what are you waiting for? Come and join the fun. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.